Dan Pihacek here. I uh, just wanted to do a quick demo and walkthrough of this Heritage Victory Combo Amp. Uh, I've had this amp for uh, probably 10 years or so. Uh, I feel like it's not a super well-known amp company and I couldn't really find any good demos of it. Uh, it was designed by Paul Cochran who did the, uh, the Tim and Timmy overdrive pedals and um, you can find in forum posts where he talks about it's kind of inspired by a Baseman, JTM45, uh, AC50, but with tweaks here and there. And basically it's just a, it's a unique amp that uh, has a really good pedal platform and uh, has an interesting bit of drive as you, as you crank it. Um, so yeah, just wanted to run through some sounds and uh, show you the, the range of controls. Um, this is an amp that I'm putting up for sale, so maybe you're watching this demo after it's already sold. If not, uh, you can find a link to uh, where to buy it. In the, in the description. Uh, so let's just do kind of control by control. One of the interesting things about this amp is that the EQ section is uh, super precise in a way where if you turn the uh, bass, middle, and treble all the way down, you get no sound. So maybe first let's just hear what each of those controls is affecting. Uh, for reference, you'll notice there's not a mic on the amp. I have it running into a reactive load and then into a two notes cab sim uh, because I live in an apartment. And uh, to get all the sounds out of this, you have to get it cranked pretty loud. Uh, so the sound we're on right now is a telly on the bridge pickup. And uh, basically all the knobs are around noon, reverbs a little bit below that. Uh, let's scale it back and uh, I'll turn the volume down to where it's just mega clean. Uh, and we'll kind of show the, the range of each of those controls. All right, so here's the trebles first. Now the bass. Now the middle. So you can tell, obviously, the mids are where a lot of the information lies in a guitar. Uh, there's also a focus control, and the focus shapes the low mids. If I understand it correctly, it basically controls where the bass ends and the mids start. Uh, so if you, as you turn it up, it kind of changes the character of the mids and also changes the character of the bass a little bit. So uh, what I'll do, it's all the way down right now. I'll just kind of run it through its sweep uh, with that, that same riff I keep playing. <laughs> hear it affecting the bass control a bit as well. We'll do that just real fast. It's, it's a lot more subtle, so focus control all the way up. So I guess kind of in both cases, it seems to enhance the, the lower mids. Uh, I really, I don't understand the, the technicality of how that control works, but it gives you a bit of extra range over the voicing of your, of your mid range. Uh, so let's just bump those all back to noon. And show what the reverb sounds like. So there's a reverb control. That's gonna be your reverb level. I just cranked it all the way so we could hear it. And then a dwell control, which is the, the amount of the amount of dwell, kind of the uh, the length of trail of the reverb. So I'm change up the riff a bit just so we can hear something different. I'll go ahead and switch to the uh, in between position on the telly too, so the neck and bridge together. <laughs>
there in the signal. Uh, let's go ahead and just crank it and see what happens. Yeah, there you can hear that it starts to get really splashy. So that's the reverb in here. Uh, again, let's just set it back to noon. There is a bright switch, uh, just to let you hear that real quick. Uh, we've been in the middle position this whole time, which is off. Uh, the down position uh, adds some, some highs, some brightness, and the up position adds a lot more, so. You can hear that extra, extra chime to it, and now lots of brightness. And there's also a cut control. So this is the final way of uh, shaping the voice of this amp. Basically, it is a, a, an overall uh, high-end softener. It happens, uh, I think, after the EQ and just kind of after the whole circuit. You can hear how it's really bright right now because that bright switches up, our trebles at noon, mids are, mids are in the middle. Um, <laughs> um, so I'll just kind of turn the cut up and you can hear how that, how that affects the, the overall shape of it. starts to sound a bit dull as you turn it all the way up, uh, but that's what it's meant to do. It can tame a bright guitar, or you can use the bright switch to uh, brighten up a dark guitar. There's just a lot of, a lot of voicing available in here. Um, so yeah, that's most of the controls. Um, let's play with the volume and see how it breaks up. So it's about a quarter of the way up. We can push it to noon, which is where the video started. And uh, with the bridge pickup with Telly, it was, it was starting to break up and compressing a bit, see how it sounds in this middle position. about three quarters so it's going to start breaking up here Let's bring that back a little bit. Yeah, there we with pedals uh, so let's try putting it back to our everything at noon setting 
and I have a, an Old Blood Noise Endeavors Fault Overdrive on the floor here that's acting uh, more like a kind of clean boost, uh, with just a little bit of, of kind of tone shaping. And then the Old Blood uh, Procession, which is a, uh, on its current setting, it's a reverb with uh, some tremolo mixed into the trails. So just to get an idea of how you can um, really, really push this amp and, uh, and it'll work with you, even with, uh, you know, a pretty wet signal and a pretty driven signal. <laughs> fault. I'll go ahead and put the bright switch off. Uh, now we've got, you know, telly into a brighter overdrive. So scale it back a little bit. Now we'll add the procession. So we've got a reverb on reverb here. That's kind of the range of this amp. Uh, it's all the controls, a bit of, bit of pedals with it. I've got a few more guitars around, so I'll just go ahead and uh, try those out with it as well. Let's, uh, let's do the Strat first. So this is a parts caster um, with just super thick strings on it, so I can tune it B to B. So it's just gonna have a lot of added low end. I'll go ahead and switch to the neck humbucker. So this is gonna be kind of the muddiest guitar sound available. So just to see what that does with, with this amp, given the way we've been voicing it with these kind of uh, brighter single coil guitars. <laughs>
finally I've got Gretsch above me, so let's just round out the collection there. I'm just going to play it out here. Uh, so again, this is a demo of the Heritage Amps Victory Combo, uh, a long discontinued unit. I'm selling this, this particular one right now. Uh, so if you're interested, check the description for links. Um, let's play some guitar, kick these effects back on. Uh, again, yeah, we're just at basically everything at noon. Let's do the bright switch to its bright but not brightest setting. Double drop D right now. 